And we're back. Again. On Again. Wednesday. It is Wednesday, so that means we are talking all things shop. Yes, definitely. And also, it's the end of the month. It's the end of August. It's the end of summer. Why are you? Why? No! <laughs> <laughs> we have one more big weekend left. <laughs> no, you got to September 21st. I don't understand. That's you know? very true. But anyway, that's, very true. that's not what we're here for. That is not what we're here for. We are here to help all of our customers and all of our shop owners, you know, have a little bit more information to help them make their shop a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're covering subjects that you may not even have thought of or even considered, but we're putting them out there because, you know, if you do it, you might find that you're going to get some real success from it. Mm -hmm. So whether you think what we're talking about now is helpful and beneficial to you, we want to know. Or if you think you have some better ideas that we should be talking about, make sure that you're responding in the comments below so that way we can answer any of the questions that you have or bring up topics that might be of interest to you. Yeah, we're here. And we don't charge. Yeah, <laughs> We are here. We are available. And I'd like to think we're a little bit fun. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so, but one thing that one thing that is not fun is spending oogobs of money on marketing and maybe not getting the best results. You know, that's actually really true. And one of the statistics that I'm familiar with, Shana, is that if I send out a thousand postcards, the return that's considered to be really good now, got this, three to five percent. Mm -hmm. Now, if you really think about that in common sense, I sent out 970 pieces of trash or recycling. And if 30 of them came back, I'm supposed to be jumping for joy? No, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. So we have another idea. We do have another idea. And you know what? This idea sometimes, most of the time, will give you that warm, fuzzy feeling. Humanity. Who would have thought? Mm. The best way to build relationships with your customers is to care about them and be a part of the communities that they are already involved in. So what do we mean by this, JB? Well, we're social creatures. We like to talk. We like to interact. Mm -hmm. But also, you know, think about where your shop's located. Do you live in that neighborhood? Are you part of that neighborhood? Or are you just a bunch of people that come in and work and leave every day? What we're talking about here is making you part of the community. Mm -hmm. And that's important because you're going to make that human connection. And the community is going to benefit from it. And it matters which method you use. And we're about to talk in about a number of different ways of doing this. Mm -hmm. That getting people into your shop is going to bring them back. And it's going to be a lot less expensive than setting in 970 pieces of trash. Absolutely. And you know what? The way that we look at getting involved in your community, specifically around marketing, we look at them in three different categories. So the first category is your just local community, right? So Perhaps you partner with some local sports teams, you know, the high school, uh, perhaps it's just giving back to a school, or maybe it's a few other local organizations that you have in your area, churches, businesses, organizations. Mm -hmm. And doing that is what's going to happen is if you get these people involved, like the baseball thing, all you have to do is get your shirts out there, right? I don't know if you can see that, but mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, you get your shirts out there and everyone's going to make that connection. Hey, that guy's local. He's right around the corner from the field. Um, maybe I could drop off my car while we're watching practice or something. Else. Sure. So think about that. Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and other mm -hmm. groups like that, there's patches. Yep. And how about opening your shop and having a group come in and just giving them a brief tour of what an oil change is, showing some of the tools that are being used. What's it going to cost you? Maybe pizza and soda. Yeah. Think about that. Mm -hmm. um, Having an open night for your shop to bring young ladies or people that want to learn about vehicles in and showing them. So they're not mm -hmm. going to get badges, but they're going to learn why the oil change is important. And what's going to happen here is you're building a community contact. Yes. You're not just walking in, taking money out of their place and leaving. You're showing that you care about it. And I mm -hmm. think that's the big point right there. Absolutely. You have visibility and you're giving back to the community that you're already involved in. You're already providing this community with great auto repair, great products, and this is a new way to get involved with them. You're gaining visibility, you're gaining respect, and ultimately you're gaining customers. So if we know that local is one section, 
Of course, there's also going to be that personal connection. So maybe you're giving back to charities that are close to your heart, um, whether that is for health, um, whether it's a cancer initiative, um, whether it is a foundation um, that you have some type of involvement in. There's a lot of different personal connections that you're able to give back to um, and ultimately create a culture for for your business um, a lot of times people associate with one specific charity and people know you know this group this shop is very involved with X um, that really just kind of gives your your shop a little bit more of a personality um, and ultimately shows what it is that you care most about when people see how passionate you are with some things outside of just the business they can make more of a human connection with you and think about that in a recent Wednesday afternoon session like this, didn't we talk about how important it was to keep a customer? Mm -hmm. If you keep a customer, it's cheaper, and also you have a 65% chance of selling to that customer. Well, if you're building a relationship with your customer, isn't that how you keep them? Mm -hmm. So using the charities, the baseball team, or whatever it might be, is your way of building that relationship and keeping customers. Mm -hmm. And it shows that you're human, right? So it's not just a shop that they're coming into. It's not just a shop that's looking to take their money. We all know that the automotive industry doesn't necessarily have the best reputation. You know, people think that we're untrustworthy. People think that we're always out to get their money, always looking to upsell them different things. No, show them a different side to your shop. Show them how much you truly care and show them how much you love to give back. It works. It does work. So we talked about local, we talked about personal, but then we also need to talk about the industry itself. There are many different initiatives, specifically in automotive, around driving that your shop can support today. Whether that's Mothers Against Drunk Driving, whether it's no texting and driving, or even donating cars. These are all very relevant ways for your shop to give back in ultimately the area that you're an expert in. Um, you know, these are all different things that are available nationwide, um, and it's just up to your shop to reach out to get involved. You know, you just mentioned a really cool idea, donating cars. Mm -hmm. You know that we are gonna have a car come on a lot, and we're gonna give the customer the bad news, it's time to put Betsy out to the field and whatnot, right? Mm, lay it to rest. Well, think about this, if you get involved with a local community active what well, some group that takes vehicles in mm -hmm. and gives the customer you know a, a little sheet as a receipt and be able to write them off think about the advantages number one you're helping that customer get rid of the car two you're getting it off your parking lot and that car is now going out to some kind of a charity and it's going to make some money for them and the customer now gets a chance to maybe get something back from Betsy for all those years of use and they can maybe apply that to the next car to give them bring to you Absolutely. You know, it's a great way to empty your lot. You know, you mm -hmm. have those dead cars out there. Get the permission. Can I donate? Yep, exactly. And there's, again, there's so many different options. And mm -hmm. this is all giving your shop the ability to give back to a community, whether it's your local community, your personal community, or the community within the automotive industry. There's so many options. And it's whatever is best for your shop. Mm -hmm. And it's all best mm -hmm. because, again, as we talked about, the human touch. Mm -hmm. If you don't make a connection with your customers, they're not going to come back. They're going to have distrust and everything like that. But when they start seeing you with the baseball team and whatever event you might be having, I mean, think about a car show at your place. Sponsor sure. a car show. Have people come in and check it out, see what you offer, and show them what they get for the, what they pay for. Mm -hmm. Oil change isn't just pulling the filter and uh, changing the oil. It's checking and topping off the tire pressures and all that stuff. Show your customers what value you give and what value you want to give to their community. Absolutely. And, you know, one of the things that you had just mentioned is also having opportunities to educate your customers, bringing mm -hmm. them to your shop, hosting your own events, and make them educational. This is another way to combat that stereotype that we are untrustworthy. If you're giving them all of the resources that they need to learn and understand what's important for car health, mm -hmm. you know, not only are you getting people on your lot by providing them value, valuable information, you're changing their whole idea about what automotive stands for. That is really big. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how you build trust, by sharing information mm -hmm. and being open. And here you are. You just opened up your shop and you opened up, you, you took care of a baseball team. I mean, I just keep going back. What I'm hoping is that you folks understand 
that telling the community that your shop's located and that you are part, and I know some of these people are part of the community, they live there, mm -hmm. but there's, you know, some other people may travel into a certain section, but think about what it's going to do for your shop alone. If the community thinks you're part of it, you're exactly. less likely to have people break in mm -hmm. and have other issues because yeah. people are going, hey, they're, they're good people. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So what we'd love to know first is what charities are your auto shops already involved in? Are they local? Are they personal? Or are they related to the industry? We'd love to know what you have going on at your shop now. But, of course, we always have to end our Wednesday afternoon uh, little Song? sessions. No. <laughs> with knowing what you want to hear next. So if you have any suggestions of new topics that we can talk about or things that are, will be beneficial for your business to learn, make sure you let us know. Send us a direct message, add it in the comments, and we're going to be happy to talk about them in the future. Yeah, as you know, folks, we're here. Use us. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give you some answers, and we'll show you some ways of doing things. But until next time, we hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend. Enjoy the very last of summer, and we look forward to talking to you next week. Have a great one, folks. Thank you.